100 FM, The Pike, Worcester's Rock Station, and Sublime, uh, a local brewery here in Worcester, uh, has done a couple of collaborations with Sublime for a couple of their fine brews. And we have uh, Jay from Odd by Worcester, uh, which is in the Midtown Mall right here in the center of Worcester. Uh, what's going on, Jay? How you doing? What's up, guys? What's going on? Shout out to Jacob from Sublime. It's really cool to see him take over the mantle for, uh, for that band. He's a good friend of ours, so we're super proud of him. What's up, y'all? Is that who you worked with on your uh, on your beers with Sublime? So we work with uh, Opie Ortiz, who's the tattoo artist from Sublime. He tattooed Sublime on Brad's back before he passed away on that very famous self-titled album cover. Um, he also created the 40-ounce The Freedom Sun. So he does all of the artwork for our beers. And uh, Jacob's just been a good friend of ours for years, and he performed at our festival last year. That's awesome. And those are available in the tap room here at uh, Odd by Worcester? Yeah, we just dropped uh, a new version of 16 Ounces to Freedom, uh, which is a terpene mango kush IPA. Mm. Uh, no to weed, no weed is in it, no THC, no CBD, just in case the federal government's listening. <laughs> uh, but it does have the notes of marijuana because hops and marijuana are cousins. They're really close cousins. It's like yeah. us and monkeys. Yeah. You, you guys make some uh, amazing, uh, unique beers. You will not find them anywhere else. What is the most recent one you did? Uh, it's not a collaboration. I want to make this clear, but it has uh, Justin Timberlake's mugshot on the uh, on the artwork. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know if he'd be participating in this, but it's uh, it's a <laughs> double IPA we brewed, um, really juicy double IPA uh, called "This Is Going to Ruin the Tour," and uh, oh yeah, it just you know we just felt like you know as soon as it happened, we had to say something about it because that whole situation is just so funny. Like, I just want to make sure people understand the situation. Like Justin Timberlake, one of the most famous people on earth, he's like Drake or Michael Jordan. I think he's like that famous and he's handcuffed from getting a DUI and he's sitting on the curb murmuring under his breath to the cop. This is going to ruin the tour. And the cop has no idea who he is, no idea who he is. And the cop looks at him and goes, what tour? And he just looks at him and goes, the world tour. And he's probably like, this insane person, get in the cop car. Right. So it's, just, it's so funny. And we're going to be dropping another version of it next month uh, called This Is Going to Ruin the World Tour, like World Tour Edition. So we're going to double down and just do it again. Nice. We think it's so funny. Nice. And yeah. then real quick, are you guys still doing the parking ticket deal? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Anybody who gets a parking ticket from the city of Worcester, which I'm sure is everybody almost every day, um, you're welcome to come into our tap room. And for one dollar, you get a pour of our light beer called parking tickets. We would give it away free, but the state of Mass won't let us do that legally. Right, right. And that's a that's a fine that's a fine crushable beer right there. Like if you're going to super do a, light, yeah, yeah 4.9 percent, something nice and light to crush. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Friday, it's uh, I think it's the first Worcester beer garden crawl, at least the one involving Odd by Worcester anyway. And it's you guys yeah. and it's the newly set up Notch Brewery, who are also great right over here at the Mercantile Center. And then just a few steps up from them, <laughs> I think it's 67 degrees. Not this is a this is this is a good idea. A beer crawl with all the places close together so nobody gets lost. That's an actual you know, crawl. Yeah, yeah. you can actually crawl. Nobody, If somebody goes down, they'll notice, you know, <laughs> or something like that. And uh, are you guys doing anything special for the crawl? Uh, so for the crawl itself, we're dropping this weekend. Uh, we just dropped our Shark Attack slushy beer. Um, so it's a, uh, think of like a blue gummy shark beer that we release every year for Shark Week. Um, and we turned it into a slushy with uh, Gatorade. So it's actually got electrolytes. It's what everybody craves. So it'll keep everybody energized to keep going on that crawl for the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the day. That's an excellent uh, recovery beer for after a workout, too. Again, <laughs> yeah, I am not yeah, a doctor. Absolutely. I just want to let people know that. So don't sue me for saying that. You just that. play one on the radio. That's right. Yeah. Absolutely. No, absolutely. Yeah. And then... Uh, no, it's, uh, it's super cool to see everybody participating together. I mean, not sure our friends from way back in the day from Salem... Um, it's nice to see other breweries come out to the Worcester area and like do something near us. And it, and it feels good to feel like we're kind of setting a little trend. I mean, we opened up in this, you know, this area in downtown in the Midtown mall and all of a sudden notch to be such a big brewery to open up right down the street from us. And then 67 degrees open up right down the street from us. 
I think they're kind of, you know, saying, hey, why don't we, you know, they seem to be having a lot of success. Maybe we could build something together. And I've always felt like, you know, rising tides lift all boats. Like I hope more breweries open right near us in Worcester because, you know, as much as I'd love to have everybody drink every beer from Odd by Worcester and never go anywhere else, the reality is people are going to go to other places. They're going to support each other. And that's what we want. We want each other to support each other because it's just good for the community and it's good for us as well. Yeah, I find that with brewers that they they really support each other, and uh, and this is great. And I, I agree with you. I hope more breweries open up around here. I mean, you're right around the corner from the studio. Notch is right across the street. As I said, 67 degrees, just a couple steps forward. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't really help my work ethic any. But still. we almost don't even have to leave this block anymore. No, we don't. We can just set up. <laughs> I'll set up a cot in the corner, and we can just head over to Odd by Worcester. And a, a new thing you guys are doing is bar pizza now. I know you know the whole cult of bar pizza, and people are uh-huh. very pat. It's like the North Shore beef. Yeah, you know people yeah. are very passionate about it. You know, there's like uh, there was like uh, Ron Emma's, there was the Linwood. You know, all these these epic places. Yep. Now you guys have thrown your hat into the ring, so you're offering bar pizza at the tap room here in Worcester. Yeah, so uh, it's actually funny. I know Ron Emma. He opened a restaurant up in Maine for a few years. Oh, and nice. Then, uh, he's a crazy guy. Out of Maine, <laughs> he's insane. He's, he's a wild person. Yeah. He's insane. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he's been nothing but kind to me, but he is a crazy person. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, no, he uh, – so we just, you know, we're friends with the guys from Widowmaker Brewing, and they always, like, anytime we'd hang with them, they'd do the South Shore bar pies, and they would be like, hey, you have to try this pizza, and – I'm a big pizza dude, man. Even okay pizza is still great. It's pizza, you know. Right, so right. We uh, we wound up uh, partnering with Cape Cod Pizza, um, oh, yeah. and that's what we're actually. So that's that's what we're serving. We're serving legit Cape Cod pies um, that they deliver fresh to our tap room every day, um, and then we're able to put them out in a 650 degree pizza oven. So they're really good, really crispy. I wouldn't mm. think that we could, you know recreate the game and do something completely original mm. um but if you're going to use something from an amazing place that's been there for yeah. you know 100 years i think there's nothing wrong with that so we offer uh cheese pepperoni buffalo barbecue and mushroom and honestly the mushroom is probably the most popular one we have so we char them up really good we hit them with our own individual uh seasoning that we created it's kind of like a garlic oregano pizza spice blend okay you gotta um, stop you gotta awesome. stop jay you gotta stop i'm dying i'm dying i had yeah. a couple of carrots for breakfast okay you're killing oh. me right now <laughs> that sounds fun but we also serve them with a uh, house-made garlic oil too okay. just kind of oh, like you know, it's, oh. it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty good all right as yeah. long as the edges are charred man you're you're going in the right direction and cape cod is is fantastic and that's like a lot of what you do you collaborate with people who are great at at other things cape cod pizza is probably my favorite pizza. is that your favorite bar oh, pizza? My God, it yeah. is a, it is a good one yeah, yeah definitely i uh, know do you but guys they were awesome they were you know they don't really, uh, you know, distribute much, and, and we reached out to them directly, and they knew who we were from our restaurant, Food for Thought in Maine, and they were like, absolutely, we'd love to. So they've been, uh, they, they realize it's kind of a pain in the ass delivering pizza to the Midtown Mall every day, but they're at least doing it for us, so yeah. that's nice of them. That's awesome. Now, do you know if you're going to, if you guys are, is there an order to the beer crawl? I haven't been able to find that. Is it starting with you guys, or are you guys in the middle? Yeah, so it starts with us from four to five and then it goes to notch from five to six and then it goes from uh 67 degrees from uh six to seven okay so it kind of goes in that direction is what uh worcester bid set it up for that's good so you can you can set down a foundation with some bar pizza do and i suggest this is a great chance to try some new beers get a flight at odd by worcester and get Mm -hmm. a flight at notch and 67 degrees too and you can cover what beers you know find out what beers you like and then go back and and get Get a growler or a crowler or just a pint and, and hang out. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah, absolutely. No, right. we have some, uh, you know, we have limited cans that are left. We still have a few of the Justin Timberlake beers, our Shark yeah. Attack beers. We just dropped uh, Peach Around, which is our Peach Ring Peach Puree beer, which is Ooh. super cool. Um, and then 16 ounces to Freedom, our collab with Sublime. So, nice. you know, come on down, hang out with us Friday, get some bar pies, have some beers, and then support our neighbors. Yeah. Do you have any sweaty Bettys left? No, but we will. I will tell you exclusively because, you know, I love you, Mike. So we will be dropping in September. We will be dropping a new version of Sweaty Betty's. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be dropping two different beers. We're going to be dropping a beer called Sweaty, 
which is going to be our original Sweaty Betty's beer, our Blue Hawaiian beer. Right. And then we're going to be dropping a beer called Betty's, which is going to be a uh, orange push-up pop beer. And they're going to be sold in mixed four packs, which is going to give you two of each beer. And yeah. one of the coolest things is when you blend them together, they're going to make an incredible Hulk beer. If you remember back in the day, if you mix Hypnotic and Hennessy. So we're going to do a <laughs> beer four pack. Oh, my God. Uh, you guys are out of your minds. I love Betty. it. That is awesome. When is that, so, when is that going to happen? That's going to happen in September, September, about a week after all the kids get back to school. Okay. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> sometimes you feel like sweaty, and sometimes you feel like Betty. Yes. So we're going to be dropping sweaty Bettys in a new way. <laughs> nice. Nice. All right. Jay from Odd by Worcester, Midtown Mall. Uh, go visit their tap room. It's a lot of fun. They got video game consoles at every table. It's like i got a great 90s pop culture theme. And they have some of the most amazing and, and very unique beers you'll never you you won't find anywhere else. If and you're they, a '90s kid, you gotta go. Yeah, you gotta yeah. check it out. And they're yeah. they're they're the it's place. A big '90s explosion. Yeah, and yeah. if you guys are coming to look for us, uh, you know it's uh, it can be hard to find. But from both sides, whether 17 Mechanic or 22 Front Street, just Google us, walk around, you'll eventually find us. We're inside the Midtown Mall in a former strawberries location. And we really do appreciate all the support of the city of Worcester. I mean, even with the summer going on, how it's a little slower, we've been crazy busy. We've done over 15,000 people in a 40 seat tap room in five months in Worcester. Wow. And, uh, we can never say thank you enough to the city of Worcester and to you, Mike, and everybody who supports us. So we love you guys. We're going to keep making Worcester beer and we're really excited to rock out the rest of the summer. And go into the fall, we have a lot of really cool collabs on the way with local businesses in Worcester. So we love you, Worcester. We appreciate all the support. All right, there's Jay from Odd by Worcester. Thanks a lot, man. We appreciate you taking the time. You got it, guys. Thank you so much. All right. And uh, they are the place where the first uh, Worcester Beer Garden Crawl is kicking off. Four o'clock on Friday. Start at Odd by Worcester at the Midtown Mall. And then just cruise right uh, like a block away to the the Notch Beer Garden at the Mercantile Center. And then right next to that would be the 67 Degrees. Yes. Uh, people there offering their, their beer. And right. we have an emergency. What happened? I really want pizza now. I know. I'm so, <laughs> so hungry right now. <laughs>